night. Last night, quite a bit of weather rolled through the area. Now, we told you yesterday at this time that we hit around 65 degrees. Our major concern was wind and rain and flooding, of course, and that's exactly how it played out. 65 degrees yesterday. And take a look at some of these wind gusts from last night. 75 miles per hour in Muncie. Southport picking up wind gusts of around 70 miles per hour. 60 for Brownsburg, around 62 miles per hour. This is the force of the wind, the gusts and speedway, and that's why you find debris on the road race this morning, so just be aware of that. Also, breaking records. It was a record of one inch and three tenths of rain set back in 1941. Yesterday, breaking that record with over two inches of rain, and that's why you may encounter flooding this morning in Indianapolis. Some of the other rainfall totals, Terre Haute at around two and a half inches, seeing about two inches for the station here at RTV6. Lafayette around an inch and a half, seeing around an inch for Muncie. So quite a bit of rain falling yesterday day adding to those totals. Let's talk about what's happening today. Still rather breezy as we are behind the cold front winds at around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Clouds will decrease over the area and expecting a drier and a much cooler day as we see cooler air in place. This morning we're cooler temperatures in the 40s wherever you look at around 48 degrees for Indianapolis you're at 49 for Bloomington 46 for Peru. So that 48 degree temperature here in Indianapolis it comes with winds of around 17 miles per hour. 86% is our humidity, so this atmosphere is still a bit saturated, but we're going to dry it out throughout the day today. We're going to dry it out, but those winds kind of stick around with us, so here's the wind speeds right now. We're picking up a wind gust at the Indianapolis International Airport of around 29 miles per hour. All of that rain that you saw yesterday, well, it's moved east and out of the area. It's moved into the northeast, bringing heavy rain there. No longer an issue for us. As we look to the west of us, it's pretty quiet there. That's good news. A quiet weather pattern is exactly what we need after last night's storm, and that's what we'll see quiet yes but also dealing with those clouds that are out there i want to take you through true cast over the next 24 to 48 hours i want to show you how this cloud cover will dissipate over the area you can see it beginning to break apart into the afternoon hours but mostly it sticks around so we'll call it mostly mostly cloudy to partly sunny into the afternoon hours a possibility of picking up a few sprinkles in the overnight hours so tomorrow morning you may get in on a few spotty sprinkles but overall it's that decreasing moisture in the atmosphere is what you will experience temperatures throughout the day today let's take you hour by hour your 8 a.m temperature 46 degrees a breezy start by the noon hour clouds begin to decrease becoming partly cloudy drier and cooler with a high temperature of 57 at 3 p.m tonight a cooler night at 42 degrees, so if you're waking up to run that marathon tomorrow morning, temperatures in 40, right around 50 degrees for you. Here's a seven-day planner, breezy at 57 for today. Temperatures fall over the weekend. We always say that the coolest air is behind the cold front, so that's why you see the falling numbers. We'll rebound next week, bringing showers back to the forecast Tuesday night into Wednesday with temperatures in the 60s.